A Ferris wheel has a radius of 8.10 meters and a tangential velocity of... Oh, okay, okay. What g-force do you read the top and the bottom and the right? Okay, so step one is let's find find this integral acceleration. Okay, so um, let's see. We've got a velocity and a radius, so I'm going to use a, c is v squared over r, right? Because this is our velocity, this is our radius. So, so 4.3 squared divided by 8.1. That is 2.2827. And then I just go divided by 9.8, right? So I want to, so the next thing is convert to G's. So the question is, this is meters per second squared. So how many 9.8s are in that, right? So in G's, the G's is equal to 2.2827 over 9.8. So the G's of the ride so just go divided by 9.8. It's pretty simple, right? You get point, I'll say 0 0.233, 0 0.233 Gs. We're sort of doing what we did before backwards, right? Okay, so, so step one. So notice that we divide by 9.8 to turn it into Gs. Uh, if you're trying to go the other way, if you have Gs and you want meters per second squared, you multiply by 9.8, okay. And then we want to know what, what g-force do they read at the top or the bottom, right? At the top, it's going to be 1g minus the ride. So that's 1g minus 0.233. This cannot be calculated by hand. 1 minus that answer that I just got is 0.767. And this is the top. And then at the bottom, it's going to be 1g plus the ride. That's easy, right? 1g plus 0.233 is 1.233 g's at the bottom. Ta-da. And the ride is 0 0.233. All right. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I think we got it. Yeah, we did. All right.